Hi there, I'm Lynn Askin from Best Pest Marketing. I'm sure you've heard all the buzz about social media and how savvy marketers are using it to generate new business. But you're probably wondering to yourself, how the heck will I, as a pest control operator, use social media to get me more pest control customers? Now you may even think that social media is only for wannabe celebrities and reality TV stars. And trust me, you're not alone. When I suggest social media marketing to my pest control clients, the response I get often involves a bit of eye rolling, a blank stare, or downright haughty derision. But I like to look at social media this way. If I asked you what is the absolute best form of advertising, I'd bet almost anything that you'd tell me that it's word of mouth and referrals. Now, every great pest control business is built on word of mouth advertising, isn't it? If you provide a great service and you make your customers happy, then of course they're going to tell their friends and their family about you and send new business your way. Now that's the best advertising there is. So what does that have to do with social media? I'd like you to think of social media as word of mouth advertising on steroids. Like it or not, Social media has made its way into the daily lives of our potential clients. From young adults to the oldest and the greatest generations, nearly every one of your potential customers are spending time on social media. They're talking with their friends and family, they're sharing their pictures with their loved ones, but they're also liking, following, sharing, poking, tagging, pinning, and connecting with their favorite brands online. Now that's where you come in. By having a Facebook page and being active on social media, you make it easy for your website visitors to like and share your articles, videos, and content. And you make it possible for your happy clients to share your information with their friends. You know, like word of mouth advertising. Once somebody has liked your Facebook page or followed you on Twitter or connected with you on LinkedIn, any content you post to your social media accounts has the potential to show up in their newsfeed anytime they log in. Now, it can not only be seen by them, but can also be seen by their hundreds of family and friends. Now, how do you get the most out of social media? Well, I hope that you understand a little bit how this works and that you need to be on social media. But let me tell you how you can use all of this information to grow your brand and get the best return from your social media marketing efforts. First of all, you're going to want to create a Facebook page for your business. Now, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're creating a business page and not a personal profile. There is a big difference. Now, you're gonna to wanna to brand your page with your logo and maybe a Facebook page cover image and fill out the About Us section, put in information about your business, maybe even include a backlink to your website. Then, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you wanna create some amazing content in the form of a blog post, or an article or a video and you're gonna post that to your website now what kind of content should you create well you want to create content that your potential clients would love to read now what would they like to read about they probably don't run it, want to read an article about the life of a housefly so put yourself in the mind of your consumer are there questions that seem to get asked over and over and over by your customers well you can easily turn these questions and the answers to them into a blog post now, maybe you write an article about how to have a pest-free backyard barbecue. In any case, you're gonna to wanna to educate them and entertain them. Now that you've got these great blog posts on your website, you need to share that content across all of your social media platforms. You're gonna post your article to Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn. Uh, if it's a video, you wanna post it to YouTube and you wanna share it across all your other social media profiles. And if you're out on the job and you take a picture of an unusual bug or critter or snake, you're going to want to post those pictures to Instagram or Pinterest, and then you're going to want to share them across all your social media accounts. When you post fun and interesting and engaging content, your followers are going to respond to you, and then you're going to want to engage with them. Schedule some time in your day for social media. Spend like 15 minutes a day responding to the comments you receive on your posts. Be responsive. There are some companies out there that actually do almost all of their customer service on social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter. If your customers are online and they're talking about your brand, you really need to be there to monitor and engage in the conversation. Now, what if you want to reach more people than just those that have liked your page? 
Well, you can enhance the reach of your content on social media by using built-in advertising platforms on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Pinterest. Now you use these to promote or sponsor your posts so they're seen by even more people. Paying for these sponsorships allows you to reach a target and reach people you wouldn't be able to reach with just a regular post. So you may want to consider Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and Pinterest advertising. In addition to that, you can use what is called retargeting or remarketing. And what that means is when somebody visits your website, a cookie, which is a little piece of code, is placed in their browser. Now this allows you the opportunity to serve your ads to them when they're surfing other websites or if they're checking out the social media. So they may have visited your website and then later they're looking at another website like the New York Times, or USA Today, or even Facebook, but then they'll see your ad on those other sites. Now that's great social proof for you and it makes you look even bigger than you really are. So putting a consistent effort into Facebook and Twitter and YouTube has really proven to be a great way to generate more residential customers for your pest control business. But there are other social media platforms that are better suited to generating more commercial clients. Now, if you're looking to connect with more local business owners in your area, I highly recommend that you take a look at LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn is a social network and it's similar to Facebook, but it's really geared more towards business professionals. On LinkedIn, you can connect with other business owners in your area. Uh, you could join local groups. And there are even a couple of very large pest control pest control groups on LinkedIn that you should be a part of. Now, to wrap this up, there are really a lot of different ways that you can use social media to gain new customers and grow your pest control business. I understand it can be a bit confusing and intimidating to just jump in and start posting. But the good news is, your competition, they're probably even more confused than you are. So, I hope I've shared some knowledge with you today that puts you a few steps ahead of your competition. Now, let's make social media a part of your marketing, a full-time part of your online marketing system, and let's leave that competition in the dust. So, if you have any questions about using social media or online marketing to grow your pest control business, give me a call. Let's talk about it. You can reach me at 866-207-2378, or you can visit us online at www.bestpestmarketing.com. Looking forward to hearing from you and thanks for spending time with me today.